Hey guys, we're back with the freshmen. If you missed any of the other episodes, there's a link in the description of the playlist. Let's continue with chapter five. You're going to have an awkward encounter with Chris. Are you fucking serious? Wait. It says my time is up, though. All right, well, now that I've bought keys. <laughs> Fuck. Bitch, I fucking did that. I literally like bought these and now it doesn't work. No, oh, I fucking did that. Now finally gives me the keys that I got by waiting and I didn't have to spend $10, which with $10 worth of fucking keys isn't even here. Oh my God. All right. You know what? I'm, I'm okay. I guess we're just doing two chapters today, guys. Sorry. I tried. I fucking tried. I even bought diamonds, too, so I could do the good options, but those aren't showing up either. Now I have this stupid fucking ad. Fuck off. All right, chapter five, game day. A few days later, you're just getting out of a lecture with Zach and Tyler. I'll expect those problem sets completed and emailed to me by Friday. Ugh, who knew college was going to be so much work? Are you kidding me? I can't wait to get started. Maybe we could form a little study group that would make the work more fun. Study buddies. I wish I hadn't just said that so enthusiastically. Have I ever told you how adorably nerdy you are? Study buddies it is. All right. As you exit the lecture hall, you see Abby walking back toward your suite. I don't think I'm doing voices today, you guys. I don't know, like, my voice is like, it's fine, but like my throat is like, Whoa. I, I don't want to say anything like gross, so gross stuff. My throat is gross. I'm uh, gonna go catch up to her, talk to you guys later, okay? Tyler runs off. Ah, he's like a puppy in love with another puppy. Speaking of which, how are things with you and Chris? Uh, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? Zach, I'll tell you everything. Okay, so we kind of kissed. Wow, you work fast. See, I told you guys, my throat is like, I don't know what the heck. I hope I'm not getting sick. I figured it would take at least a week for you two to start hooking up. I said it was just a kiss. The worst part is I have to talk to Chris for Professor Vasquez's assignment, and it's going to be so awkward. Oh, don't be such a baby. I'm sure he'll be very eager to see you, very eager. Zach. Fine, I'll stop teasing you for now. But just be honest with me for a sec. How do you feel about Chris? Chris, I have feelings for him. He's just a friend. He means nothing to me. Where's the I just want to bang him? Like, I'm going to bang all the other people that are options in this. Well, I don't know if you can choose all of them, but we're going to try. I have feelings for him. I knew it. In that case, you should be happy to have an excuse to talk to him. I guess you have a point. Of course I do. It's best to learn this about me now. I'm always right. Now come on, Chris should be in the middle of practice. You can watch him in, a, in action and ask, ask him a few questions about life as a football player. And in the meantime, I can make sure you don't embarrass yourself. How thoughtful of you. We're still going to embarrass ourselves no matter what. A few minutes later, you arrive at the stadium and find the team on the green, practicing drills. Oh wow, look at Captain America over there by the sideline. <laughs> Wait, I recognize that face. It's Darren Taylor. He's our school's starting quarterback. I thought Chris was our quarterback. Is that what he told you? Chris is only a freshman. He's our backup. I don't see Chris around. Maybe I should ask Darren a few questions about football life. You walk up to Darren and find him chatting with a pair of all-too-familiar girls. Oh no, Becca, boo, Becca. What are you doing here? Breathing, existing... Well, go exist somewhere else. Madison and I are having a deep conversation with Darren. He was just telling us about how to handle getting tackled. Maybe you could show me your technique later, Darren. I'm super curious. Wow, slut. Slut. I know what you're saying to him. I know you don't really want to be tackled. It's all, it's all about squaring your hips and getting low to the ground. Sounds like fun. Actually, I was sort of hoping I could ask Darren a question for a project, you know? Go right ahead, new girl. Don't be shy. I want to ask, how's the team's chemistry? Is it hard to balance football in school? 
Do you get a lot of girls? All right, is it hard to balance football and school? It's not easy. I always try to take a lighter load during fall quarter since I'm so busy playing ball. And I'm not going to lie, football life has its perks. I know this life won't last forever. I want to enjoy myself while I can. Not everyone on the team seems to so happy-go-lucky. Zach gestures towards a bench at the far end of the field where Chris is sitting by himself hanging his head. Aw, too bad. I'll go talk to him, see how he's doing. Good luck, he's super moody. He wouldn't even talk to me, and I'm me. No, you're just a bitch. You walk away from, and boring. You walk away from the group and approach Chris. Actually, no, she's just, bo like, a bitch would even be more interesting. She's, like, boring bitch. Which is the worst kind. Because at least the real savage bitches give you, you know, they're fucking savage, so at least you have that. <sighs> hey there, you doing okay? Oh, Tara Titov. I'm solid, just a little winded from all the drills. Really? Aren't you bummed about being a bench warmer? Are you sad about us? Oh man, aren't you bummed about being a bench warmer? That's like, why would you just say that to him? Oh my god, let's say it. That's so mean. He's gonna feel bad. <sighs> Savage. You can see right through me. Okay, good. He didn't take it harshly. Some people would take that the wrong way. It's just I knew I'd be on the bench behind Darren, but I wasn't really prepared for the reality of it. I can't stand the idea of not being able to help my teammates get a win, you know? All through high school, I lived for Friday nights. That rush of adrenaline as our team sprinted out onto the field, nothing else even comes close. What should I do? Flirt? Keep listening. We should probably keep listening, even though I really want to flirt. I just feel like if I'm not on the field, then who am I? You're Chris. I guess I am. He reaches out to take your hand. What should I do? Step back. Hold his hand. I want to step Hold his hand. Chris squeezes your hand and smiles. You know, I think I'm starting to feel a little better. Chris, coach is asking for you. Ready to get in some reps? Looks like I'm up. See you later, tear a tit off. Sure thing. Good luck out there. Zach walks up to you. So, how's our golden boy? Feeling less than golden, I think. Sounds like it's up to us to cheer him up. Don't worry. We'll think of something. I'll think of something. <laughs> Later that week, the night before the big game, you sit at the table in the kitchen to do some studying. This problem set is actually harder than I thought. That's why you need study buddies. You're never going to let me forget saying that, are you? As the three of you study, Abby walks past you, headed for the living room. I'll be sitting in front of my laptop, waiting for the new episode of The Crown and the Flame if anyone needs me. So, Tyler, what are you waiting for? What are you talking about? You and Abby, when are you going to ask her out? Ask her out? No way, I'd just embarrass myself, right, Tara Titoff? Maybe you should go talk to her, Tara Titoff. You've got the female connection. Spend some time with Abby. Talk to her about Tyler, and I know you can help get them together. Yeah, until their fucking relationship backfires and we're stuck being roommates with both of them. Phew. <sighs> Well, not that we're not creeping on Chris and he's creeping on us. So that that was a little hypocritical. So you know what? All right, Tyler, let me talk to... Oh, no, she's not getting my diamonds. I can't help you. Man up, bitch. Unless you're giving me $2. Even though I just spent $5 to get like 60 diamonds. So I had options. Even though they're not, they're not fucking showing up. I can't ask Abby out for you, Tyler. You're in college now. If you want her, go do something about it. That's like some high school... Junior high shit. Come on. Grow up. This is way too much pressure. Well, then you can be forever alone. I don't care about your life. No one ever said relationships were easy. Tell you what. I promise I'll make a move by the end of the quarter. That's something. Interesting. How's this for a deal? You ask out Abby, and I'll promise to ask out Brandon, too. Pretty sure you were going to do that anyway. Guilty as charged. See, flirting is easy for you. Flirting is never easy. Tell you what, we'll make a pact. By the end of the quarter, we'll both make a move. What about you, Tara Titoff? Want in on the deal? No, I'm not a pussy-ass bitch like you guys. I'm ready to make the moves now on the people I need to make the moves on. Just let me get my diamonds from the fucking game, because I know it's going to cost money. Ah, guys, I promised to go out with Chris. I promised to ask some, out someone. I'm going to ask out someone. Keeping your options open. I like it. It's a pact. 
Yeah, gotta keep my options open. Are you crazy? On the day of Chris's first game, you bump into him as he's leaving the suite. Hey, Tara Titoff. Ready for the big game? Yeah, ready to keep the bench nice and warm. As he leaves, Caitlin walks up to you. Looks like someone's got his shoulder pads in a twist. What's up with him? I think he just needs a boost. He's not used to playing backup. Then let's remind him how awesome he is. Assemble the housemates. It's time to launch Operation Fan Club. We're going to need five poster boards, a ten pack of colored markers, and some body paint. What are you planning? You'll see. We're gonna like... Oh, oh my god, tear it off. Are you kidding me? What are we planning? What? A few hours later at the game. Go, Chris! You hold up a sign reading Chris is number one. I can't believe you convinced me to paint an R on my stomach. I hear you. I want it noted that I'm only doing this for Chris's sake. As the team runs out onto the field, you spot Chris near the front. Here he comes! Shirts off, everyone! What should I do? Take my shirt off. Keep my shirt on. Keep... I mean, take it off. What am I... Keep it on? What the fuck? You supported Chris at the football game. You all take off your shirts to reveal C-H-R-I-S painted across your stomachs. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Don't take your entire shirt off. You just need to, like, raise it, Tara Tito. Look at these girls. You just took it all off. Woohoo! Go, Chris! I mean, I'm sure he'll notice that. Oh, wow. Thanks, guys. The game begins, and Chris takes a seat on the bench. Looking good, Knights. We love you, Darren. Darren runs out onto the field. Go, Knights! After the kickoff, the offense takes the field. Omaha, 52, black! In the first quarter, the Knights dominate. Check out my end zone dance. But they seem to lose focus in the second quarter. Another fumble, seriously? Oh shit, Chris is about to be put in. Come on, Knights. Do the thing with the ball. Halftime finds the score nodded at 21-21. Who knew sports would be so stressful? As the game winds to a close, you're down 24-21 with only a minute left to play. Let's do this, Knights. We can still win this thing. All right, I guess he's still in. Darren drops back, looking for an opening. Holy crap, they're blitzing. The opposing team rushes Darren in a sudden charge. He takes a vicious sack. Rip my ankle. Well, guess who's not a motherfucking bench warmer anymore? I definitely heard something snap. I think I'm going to be sick. How is that even legal? As you watch in stunned silence, Darren is carted off the field. Oh no. Poor Darren. I hope he gets better soon. This is Chris's chance. In the meantime, we've got a few seconds left to play next man up and that man is Chris come on hail Mary Chris runs onto the field taking Darren's place come on guys let's get the crowd fired up go Kings Queens Knights go Knights yeah and go Chris you shout Chris's name and the crowd joins in okay let's do this for Darren the next play starts Chris drops back looking for an opening hey rookie I'm open Chris throws the ball and... Touchdown! Yes! What a throw! That's our boy! Wow! He did it! A while later, after a big win, you and your friends wait for Chris on the main quad outside the stadium. There he is. Woohoo! That's our superstar! Hey guys, thanks so much for being there for me today. Of course. You're our friend. Tear it off, I... He's interrupted as Becca and Madison approach him. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Wow, that home run on sixth and long? Completely amazing. Oh, please. I can't even begin to tell you how wrong that sentence was. The point Maddie is trying to make is you need to come celebrate your victory with us. You should listen to them, bro. Kappa Phi Sigma, house parties are epic. The whole team is going, and that definitely has to include our new quarterback. Chris looks over at you. Sure, I'd love to come, as long as my friends are invited, too. You mean that, bunch of? Oh, I mean, of course they're invited. Fucking Becca. Sounds like fun. I'll see you there. No way, I'm not letting you out of my sight. You're coming with me. Uh, I guess I'll see you there, guys. Stand up for yourself, Chris! Jesus Christ! Becca takes Chris by the hand and starts leading him toward Kappa House. Aggressive much? I hate to say it, but I think our boy needs a rescue. Those girls looked like trouble. 
So now it's time for Operation Rescue Chris from the evil sorority girl? Maybe he doesn't want to be rescued. Trust me, he does. Everyone looks at you. We need to rescue him. No, let him go. Let him go. He should have been like, no, bitch. <laughs> right then and there and told her off. Well, he didn't need to tell her off, but like, oh, yeah, actually, I'll come with my friends. The truth is, Chris belongs with me. Chris deserves better than her. I'm not sure how I feel about Chris. Sorry, I almost missed that. But I definitely don't want to sit back and watch a good friend end up under the spell of a girl like that. Game on. Kappa party. Here we come. All right. Reach the end of this chapter. Why do you have to use a key to restart the chapter? I mean, to get, yeah, you get other choices, but like, I should be free. All right. Wow. Do I have my keys yet? Where are my fucking keys? I don't want to just do two chapters. I'm like forced. I'm sorry, you guys. I really tried. Maybe they'll show up tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe I need to update my app or something. We'll save Chris, though. Ugh. No, I don't. All right, good. Chapter six, Kappa House Party. A few, year, a few years, Jesus Christ, a few years after the game, we finally make it to the party and uh-oh, looks like he got married to the girl we didn't save him from. A few hours after the game, you and your friends are at the Kappa Phi party. There's only one problem. I can't believe we're still waiting to get in. Is this line even moving? Unbelievable. Those girls dragged Chris inside and we're stuck out here waiting in line like, like non-VIPs. We are non-VIPs. You're totally a VIP, Abby, but I'm starting to regret coming here. Are we really the type of people who scurry back to our dorm at the first sign of trouble? No, but that one guy on the football team is guarding the door and he has a list. So? Bitch, we aren't on the list. <laughs> well, if I had to guess, I'd say we're not on it. As far as I'm concerned, we belong at the top of every list. We're getting into this party ASAP before those harpies get their hands all over your man. Zach, I never said Chris was mine. Don't say that in front of Caitlyn, who is also a romantic option. Fucking Zach. Right, right, no labels. Are you even listening to me? Chris and I are just friends. <laughs> she, I like how we, I think we've told him a few times that we really like Chris. <laughs> He's probably like, what? Tara, what are you doing? I don't know what you want anymore. So let's make sure your friend doesn't end up dating some evil sorority girl. We've got to do this for the sake of the sweet. Can you imagine what our lives are going to be like if Chris has one of those vapid social climbers over all the time? They say that suffering helps forge great art, but I don't need my art to be that good. We can't have that. We can't let Chris date those girls. Well, yeah, for Chris's own sake, we need to get him out of here. Abby, tear it off. Let's go. Say what? You're leaving me and Tyler behind? Sorry guys, but this is a sad reality. Cute girls always get into parties. Guys have to wait. But this is a sorority party. If anything, guys should have an easier time getting in. You are so not making sense right now. What do you think, Tara Titoff? I think I'll try to get in with... Uh, Caitlin. I mean, they said a football player is guarding the door. He's gonna like the cute girls. I mean, Chan, the probability is pretty high of him liking cute girls. Yay, good choice. And if he doesn't like cute girls, maybe he'll like cute Zacks. I don't know, Zach. Ugh, fine, see you inside. You, Caitlin, and Abby approach the front of the line, where a football player bars the door to the house. Hold on, girls, are you on the list? Bitch, you just talked to us. You saw us. Yeah, we're listed under girls. First name, hot. Yep, hot girls, there you are, right at the top. Head on in. You got into the Kappa party. Was I right or what, Tara? You were right. Okay, time to find Chris. Save the day and hold the phone. Jello shots. Caitlin grabs two jello shots and downs them both. So good. All the fun of being a kid plus, you know, alcohol. Yeah, before we actually save Chris, we should just make sure, you know, we have a little fun at the party first. Why not? We're there. There's free drinks. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Abby grabs a cup and licks the jello surface. This tastes like poison. Uh, I think I see Chris over there. You guys stare here with the jello. I'm going in alone. So be honest, Chris, are you ticklish? 
Your bottle is empty, Chris. Let me get you another beer. That last story was hilarious. Don't you dare tell another one until I get back, okay? <laughs> sure thing. Hey, Chris. Tara Titoff, there you are. I thought maybe you decided not to come. I just got a little delayed, but I'm here now. I would have She should have just lied and let. They wouldn't let me in. <laughs> just start some fun, just flat out drama because you know he's going to trust Tara Titoff over those girls. I'm glad you came. Chris takes you aside and whispers to you. I've been thinking about you all night. Chris, I've been thinking about you too. Don't waste your time on me. It's a party. Be more fun. Oh, I've been thinking about you too. There's something I wanted to ask you. I know we said no promises. Did we? Because I'm starting to regret that. And for now, at least, it looks like I don't have to leave Hartfeld. You, hi. You interrupted as Becca approaches and throws her arm around Chris's waist. Why does this girl keep following you around, Chris? Please tell me you're not dating her. <laughs> Tara Titoff. Tara Titoff is a good friend. Chris, I was actually wondering if you had a few minutes more to talk. Sorry, but you had your chance. Plus, I already told Chris he's mine for the night. Kappa house party rules. If you really want Chris, you've got to win him. He gestures to a nearby beer pong table. Did you just make up rules for our sorority? Logan, you're supposed to be guarding the door. This, I like this idea though. This is kind of fun. Beer pong's fun. Eh, I got bored and let everyone in. You look around and realize all of your friends have gathered around you. A beer pong match to get some time with Chris? I do love a game with high stakes. You've got this, Tara Titov. I'm not some trophy to be won and paraded around, usually. Objection noted. Now, let's play. What do you say, Tara Titov versus Becca? The winner gets 10 minutes with our new starting quarterback. Gladly, I haven't lost a match since freshman year, and I know exactly how I want to spend my 10 minutes. I just want to talk to Chris. What do I do? Let's play the game! Fuck yeah, it's on! A few minutes later, you and Becca face off across the table. Round one. Time to score, miss, drop. I wish you could bounce. Score! That's what I'm talking about. Round two. My turn. You should try to distract her. Get inside her head. All right. Take off your shirt <laughs> again. I feel like that's what everyone do does. Oh, my God. Um, you look, There's a stain on your dress. A stain what? Where? Becca's shot misses wide. Oops. I guess it wasn't a stain at all. Just a shadow. My bad. Sorry you missed your shot. It's not over yet. Round three. I've been watching you toss, and I think I have some advice. Adding a little backspin will help you sink more shot shots. Nothing's going to help Tara Tedov win this game. Are you guys talking physics? Because I've got a lot of thoughts on the trajectory of the ball. See if Tara Tedov was able to increase the angle of her arc by, say, about 10 degrees. Guys, I'm getting confused. Don't listen to anyone else, Tara Titoff. Just remember what I said. All right, backspin. Nothing but net. You've got to be kidding me. It all comes down to the final shot. Here goes nothing. Your ball sails through the air and lands right in Becca's final cup. <gasps> that's that's impossible. I'm unbeatable. She has a chance to come back unless they don't have the, oh they have different rules. She didn't get a chance. Usually you get a chance. You have to sink both the balls. But correction, you were unbeatable until I came along. The crowd cheers and your friends hoist you up on their shoulders. That's my girl Burr Pong, Burr Pong champion of the world. Looks like you've won me for a few minutes. And I plan to make the most of my time. Come with me. Oh shit. You and Chris head outside where you can speak in private. So, what's going on? It seems like you had something to say. We were, you were literally saying something to me, Chris, before bitch interrupted us. I just, I don't, I didn't like seeing you with those girls. Madison, Becca, you should give them a chance. They're actually pretty cool once you get to know them. Somehow, I really doubt that. Well, they've been nothing but nice to me. They don't even know you. All they see is a guy in a football uniform. Wow, jealous. She's so jealous. Oh, so you're assuming there's no other reason someone might like me? That's not what I said. I'm just saying, wow, this <sighs> Why didn't I get to choose her options? Because she just doesn't know where she's... This is bad. This isn't good. Becca is so manipulative. 
I'm not sure about that. If anything, I think Becca is pretty straightforward. See, the fact that you think that proves how manipulative she is. I think, I think Becca is someone who knows what she wants and she takes it. See, we're acting all jealous, but we already knew he wanted us. We didn't need to act all crazy jealous. Like it doesn't make, it doesn't make sense. It must be nice to be so certain. Do you know what you want? I don't know. Maybe that's why I admire Becca because I'm so all over the place right now. See, look, look, look at that. What? So what can I do to help you get some clarity? Tara it off. I, what do I do? 30 fucking diamonds. You gotta be fucking insane. Well, I don't have the diamonds because I bought the diamonds and they never fucking showed up. So you know what? I'll hug him. I really do care about you. So what do we do now? Honestly, I don't know. I think I do know. I'm falling for you hard, Tara Tadov. I... Suddenly, a look of panic crosses his face. I, I can't believe it. I'm going doing the exact thing I promised myself I wouldn't do. Didn't I say it the first day I met you? I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for something real. Yo, Chris, where are you at? Chris, Chris, are you out? Oh, God. fuck off, fuck off. It, it sounds like I'd better head back in. Goodbye for now, Tara Tadov. You know what? I'm done with you, Chris. Every time you're about to say something important to me, you just fuck right off to like, because someone's like, hey, Chris, can you come here? You're like, yeah, sure. Never mind. I don't give a shit. I was about to say something meaningful and nice to you about what's going on with our relationship. But you know, I'm just going to go talk to these randos. Chris, wait. He walks back into the sorority house. I'm done. Boring. A few minutes later, you're walking across campus trying to process what just happened. Hey, there you are. We looked everywhere for you. What happened? Tyler, do you want to bang? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Last thing I saw was Chris on Chris's bed, actually, walking inside to go see Becca. And now he's not here walking home with us. Do you think maybe he... Let's not even talk about it. Maybe it's better just to get some sleep and forget tonight, uh, forget tonight ever happened. Actually, I have to write about football life for Vasquez. I'll write about football players' relationship drama, the party scene, the game itself. Ooh, let's piss off Chris. Hmm. Relationship drama or the party scene? I think party scene is a little more damning, so let's do that. Sounds like my kind of essay. I look forward to reading it. You spent all night at your- Oh shit, he's our roommate though. I forgot we have to live with him. Fuck. You spent all night at your laptop writing your heart out. And the next day... Oh, hello, James. There you are. It looks like you somehow managed to satisfy the professor with your assignment. Is it that hard to believe? Honestly, yes. He pretty much hates everyone and everything. Consider me impressed. I'll try not to let it get to my head. You catch James grin just as Professor Vasquez clears his throat. This, this is perfect. These are the sort of rich details I was looking for. Who knew Jello shots still existed? I thought those went out of style in the 70s. And the evil sorority girl is a perfect villain. Oh, yes. Call her out. In fact, I think I just figured out your next assignment. Oh, crap. I forgot. I don't know why I got in my head that this was going to be like a public thing and that Chris would end up seeing what we wrote. Damn it. Never mind. I was so excited for them to see how it then I was like, yes, Becca's gonna see we called her a bitch. You're going to join the cap. Oh, yes. We're gonna join the sorority. Oh, no. Damn it. See, look at this. See, look, I have four diamonds. Oh, I just got those from. Oh, my God. Whatever. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a good night. I will get Supermodel, Sims 4's Supermodel up soon. Sorry you've been waiting for that. I know I feel bad. Um, I still have some editing to do. I haven't had as much time as I had hoped to do that, uh, but soon. And bye!